Hello YouTube. In this video, I am going to review Hydrogen OS for OnePlus One. Hydrogen OS is an official ROM from the OnePlus for the exclusively for the Chinese market, but some developers already ported that ROM to other users, so we can flash it. And I already made a video on how to install Hydrogen OS on your OnePlus One. So if you go into the settings and then about phone, you can find I'm using the Hydrogen OS, which is based on Android 5.0.2, and you can find other details here. If you look at the, let's talk about the ROM features. If you look at the home screen, this is the home screen, and then here is the lock screen. So this is all about the basic thing. And if you got the contacts or phone dialer, you can see the phone dialer option here. And you can type numbers and then it will look for the number. And here you can see the all the options and uh, group, blacklist, everything you can see here. Besides that, this is the messaging app. In settings, you can see the delivery options. And here is the default Chinese browser. Don't need to worry about that because this ROM comes with the G, G apps. So Google Play Store will be available here, no issues. And one interesting change in this ROM is that to get the notification panel, you have to swipe up like this. Then you can see all the notification panels like torch, speed clock, calculator, camera, and then settings option. And then airplane mode, Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, auto rotate, mute, VPN, and other options. And here is the brightness controller also. So that's all about the notification area. And there is no Chinese letters you can find. Okay, so if you look at the uh, Home screen. This is the home screen, and then here is the gallery application and OnePlus weather. Current location you can choose and setting is the location there and clock. If you pull down the notification area, you can see this is the notification, and there is nothing coming. Can't even double tap. But there is a limitation for this ROM is that there is no double tap to wake up or double tap to sleep. But if you pull down, then you will get the app notification by pressing here. This is the app notification instead of the settings menu in you will find in other ROMs. So that is there. And then camera, they are using the Google camera, regular Google camera, nothing new. You can flash any other cameras. And then this is the recent panel. You can find all the downloaded panels here. By clicking here it will close it will remove all the from the memory and then these are the stock apps comes with this one before going to that thing if you press and hold here you can adjust this clock styles from here and then you can choose the background you can choose the color as well and if you go to the settings menu you can find normal Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile network and other NFC, VPN settings there. And then in display you can find the adaptive display, font, keyboard and wallpaper settings, cache screen, and here's the date and seat time and then sounds, here you will get the, all the sound features like touchpad. If you want to close the haptic feedback, you can do this. And then in password lock, this is talking about the lock screen password lock, like number lock is there, pattern is there. So that's about the password lock and here is the apps app and permissions like you can see the device man administrator is here and then if you need, want to install uh, applications outside the Google Play Store, you can use this one. And in auto startup option, you can see in the, find all the application which will start automatically in the startup time and you can disable it whichever you want 
and here is the app notification again and this is the app permission manager and other settings and other settings you can see the each and, up, each and every applications and their usage of the memory so it's good so in advanced settings you can have seen the battery information if you want to see the battery information on the status bar you can click on that one and then you can see the storage details here accessibility developer options if you want to turn on the USB debugging you can do that and other developer options so that's all about the settings menu you can also do the search thing same as like a lollipop feature and if you look at the other stock application here is the calendar application comes with this ROM and then mail application sound recorder calculator and uh, Chrome, Gmail, Google settings, Play Store, Play Music and this ROM is also free rooted so you will get the Super SU and then YouTube application as well and as there is no double tap to wake up option here there is no double tap but you can use this kernel auditor to turn on the double tap to wake up option I'll show that in the other video and overall it, it is like very sleek very sleek and um, fast ROM and some key features are missing like double tap options and uh, let's hope they will add those features in the future releases as for now this is like a slim and fast ROM with it will give good battery life also that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a link in the description. I will show you that. Just go and check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.